And this is something we talked about on our first episode of the Hacksaw Hour. So originally I wasn't going to ask this, but then I was like, you know what? Our YouTube crowd has not heard you respond to this yet. So why don't we make this kind of the definitive edition? Uh, Nick Lenz asked, Jim, did Steve Austin have an issue dropping the U.S. title to you? So people have yeah, been asking over and yeah. over again, Jim. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <I've> got... <clears throat> Steve Austin. <laughs> <laughs> I think he was stunning, Steve Austin. I beat him so bad he had to shave his head and change his name. I beat the hair right off the boy's head. I should get a kickback on this stone cold thing. He still be running around with long blonde hair. <laughs> but I won't that? say no, no. But I'll behave myself. <laughs> no, I Austin with that match was supposed to go much, much longer when he dropped the belt. Yeah, he just didn't want he didn't want to drop the belt. He didn't want to work with me. A lot of guys didn't want to work with me at all. Uh, I was an old timer. Uh, the, who was the German kid? Uh, Alex Wright. Alex Wright. You know, he's like, hey, where can I hang on you? So I'm like, well, where's Alex Wright now? <laughs> you know, I mean, back then, yeah, I may not do a whole lot of work. And uh, they don't, I'm not, <laughs> but everybody in the place is saying up, Jen, USA, USA, because it's coming from the heart. That's it. But uh, anyway, <clears throat> Stone um, Cold. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Steve Austin. <laughs> yeah. No, he didn't want to do the job. Uh, yeah. And so he faked an injury that he hurt his knee and the match was uh, – they didn't want me to shine at all. He, he just wanted to do that quick, get the, get the match over and get the hell out of there. Where, on the other hand, great example – when I came back to the WWE, again, a lot of the younger guys, just very, very competitive business wrestling. People don't realize, why are they bringing this old-timer back? And they, you know, I came back, oh, and Lita was a ho. Oh. That got my foot in the door. So now they said, well, stick him in with Edge on TV. We'll see how it goes. Edge, you know, I don't know Edge. Saw him a couple times on the road. Never really talked to the guy. You know, we... Don't really go over the match long, thinking that, you know, the way the atmosphere is, you know, what, what kind of match is the guy going to give me? Right. Gave me a triple A match. He busted his ass out there, made me look good, made him look good. Different example, of two different class guys, Stone Cold and Stand Up Man. Man, uh, that's the right way to do business because, again, that's it makes business, both yeah. of you look good, right? Yeah, yeah. And uh, but me and Austin, we had a little person that you know we just didn't get along. Like I said, the guys I didn't get along with Triple H, Sean, and Stone Cold. <laughs> 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 the guys I got along with uh, Dr. Death, Terry Gordy, and Piper are all gone, you know. <laughs> now no, nobody wait. wants to be my friend. I'm your friend, Jim. Don't worry. No, <laughs> taking a lot for granted, brother. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh it, it, just so we can kind of give listeners a full story, because, again, I've seen this question come up a bunch of times. Um, after Afterwards, did you confront Steve Austin backstage? Not to the point where uh, I are. I went back and I told him, I was, yeah, we, we had words. Okay. You know. you just Actually, I'm trying to bullshit. think uh, uh, who the referee was. Uh, uh, Nick Patrick? Patrick was the referee. Nick Patrick, yeah, yeah. He was backstage with us there, and he I got cut a little promo. But what the hell are you going to? do? I, you know, now I said, "Well, I beat the hell out of him." That's that. Now I just added to my promo. I got yep. beat him so bad he had to shave his head and change his name. <laughs> you know, I beat him in thirty seconds. You know, bottom I line, I got the strap, which really that, that never meant a whole lot to Hacksaw. That was my whole deal. I don't care if I win the match, as long as I win the fight. And Stone Cold knew I would win the fight back then without fucking question. <laughs> I knew I was going to get an F bomb out of you. That's <laughs> it. What? Did it pop out of there? <laughs> We're rolling. Sometimes, boy, I'm Irish Catholic, man, so I get a roll going. Holy smokes. <laughs> Never throws holy water on me and holds up a crucifix. <laughs> I'm just glad we got that out of the way. Now they're just going to start. <laughs> Thank flowing. you, brother. Yeah, <laughs> um, you know it's just. It, it I never think you're a bad sense. influence. I don't know. I for a young guy. That's what my wife tells me. Um, <laughs> but 
but no, look, uh, I, it, it, it doesn't make sense to me, the idea that he's like, well, I'll just let him beat me in eight seconds so I don't have to do it. It's like, hey, man, you look way worse getting beaten in eight seconds than you'd look having like a 10-minute match. It seemed like it. Yeah, but, yeah. Right. Who knows? Yeah, know. Everybody does their that, and, and that maybe if he had to do it over. But, yeah, we had had words before then. And, okay. uh, yeah. And, and back then, I'd stretch his ass if he gave me a hard time. Yeah, that's not a question. Yep. Especially no, back then, brother. I size 300, uh, probably back then, 275. I had a 505 bench. Like I said, we talk about my pedigree. There's nobody in this business that scared me. 1994, you've been, what, 39 years old, still a young man. It's, man, it's, I'm I'm 100% certain you would have uh, beat his ass. Well, you can pick your targets then, you know. I wouldn't jump on some of the boys, but I knew, you know, I, you know, I felt confident there. 